Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live. And I am going to try and stream. Okay. Um, I think I am live. Uh, I can hear myself, which, let me turn off the volume. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully it's not a double echo. I'm not really sure, but all right. I am trying to stream um, currently on um, not only Facebook, YouTube, but tonight I am trying to stream over on Instagram as well. So we are going to do a hand stamped um demo tonight. So uh, I know that for a while, um, I, I actually have uh, demoed this on over on um, my YouTube channel. I did a little video on it. So I am going to do that tonight. So uh, I apologize if over on Instagram, you're getting a double, like a double feed. Um, but let me go back here. Okay. So um, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to see my Instagram comments, I don't think. So um, I went off that page and honestly, I don't know, but that's okay. All right, um, so thanks all for joining me. And like I said, tonight is the first night that I'm trying to stream over on uh, Instagram and honestly, I didn't even know I, I flipped off of that page. And so I'm not even sure um, where the comments went. So can you share? Um, okay. So the one thing that um, I did a, a lot of, I'm going to go over all the supplies that I use or I recommend. Um, the one thing that I, um, I am not going to give out is I did a ton of research and I found um, a really great wholesaler for the bling. And I just prefer, there's a few things that I don't give out. I give out tons of information. You guys have been following me on YouTube. I give out a ton of information. There are a few things though that I really hold near and dear to my heart. And it's things that took me forever to find it. What I would recommend you do is, yes, if you're going to do any type of hand stamping, you are going to need um, to just find a blank. And um, you're going to have to find a blank of like whatever you want to stamp. So um, when I first started, I just went over to Hobby Lobby and I used some of their blanks. And then um, because I was going to do it in such of a bulk format, at all my vendor events, I decided to go ahead and just start researching and trying to find somebody where I could do that, you know, find a wholesaler. Um, so that's what I would just recommend. And um, same with like my barn quilts, I talk about how to, I, you know, demo how to do it. There's a couple little um, things that I do that I don't give out for that either. And I know that in one of my videos, somebody got really upset with me, but I'm like, it's something that it's kind of like my trade secret. It's like KFC's chicken recipe, you know? So, well, maybe not that extreme, but you know. Um, okay. Uh, and Kat says, yes, I agree with you. Everyone needs to do research. So what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to definitely go ahead and demo um, how to do a hand stamped um, bracelet or cuff is what I like to call them. But I also um, want to let you know, and I am going to try to put it in the feed um, on my website. So if you go to www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com, you are going to find um, a, um, a tab that says jewelry, click on jewelry. And then within that, if you want to order anything custom, I can definitely do that for you. These make amazing gifts. And um, so I sell them for a uh, single is $14 and then or three for $35. So um, definitely. 
definitely head on over there if, um, if that's something you're interested in. All right. Uh, Maya says, we just watched your video and it was absolutely incredible. Love the suitcase and the little sewing box. Thank you, Miles. Yes. So I did put out a video today. That was another thing I wanted to mention. Uh, Royce from Royce Cycle Decoupage Papers put out a new release for her stencils. And she sent me some of the stencils ahead of time. So I was able to uh, play around with them. Um, I'm on the creative team. And so what she decided to do is she asked all the last year's creative team members and then this year's creative team members, I swear they called it a rip off, but remember I was not feeling the best with my back. And um, they basically said, let's do, you know, basically a face off. So whoever could come up with the best projects. And I'm like, well, I'm going all in, I'm going all out. And I had so much fun. I had so many more projects like lined up. I could have kept creating. That's how much fun I was having with the stencils. So um, thank you, Miles. So I appreciate it. Um, oh, Free Spirit said the apothecary suitcase was my fave. Thank you. I know I, um, I've had that suitcase and it had like kind of like a, I picked it at the Goodwill bins. And the handle was kind of messed up. And I'm like, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this one. And that way, if it doesn't turn out, but it turned out awesome. I loved it. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> he goes, you and your rip off was awesome. Uh, but loved all, and loved all the projects. Oh my gosh, you guys. So they sent me the headband, the purple headband. And I'm like, okay, so do I, start off with it on, you know, at the beginning of the video, or do I just like go all in and act like I'm going to do a riff off? So that's exactly what I did. I like threw it on and it was fun. And then I'm like, uh, I'm not taking this off. I will mess up my hair. So I kept it on and then I, so I did my intro and my outro. It was funny. Um, and he said, I also love the video. Can't pick a favorite. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys, the, um, so there is the apothecary stencil, which I absolutely love. Um, but then there is the, there's five stencils total and I should have grabbed all of them. I just had the two in here that I actually used in the video. And then I'm like, I probably should clean this up. So then right before I was going to start, I'm like scrubbing it, trying to get all my, my paint off. But this is the apothecary stencil, which I love. And you guys, this one is so awesome. The frames. So you get two frames and one. So you get the real big frame and then the smaller frame. In my video, I use the smaller frame uh, and incorporated the apothecary stencil with it as well. So that's what I love about Royce's, uh, you know, everything. She's always trying to figure out how to even like use like her papers and her stencils, like incorporate both of them. So um, I love it. All right, let's see. Oh, hey, Jane, how you doing? Uh, hey, um, Debbie from Elsie Lane Boutique. What's up? She says, oh, Jane says, I never clean my stencils. <laughs> I was only clean. Obviously, I don't either, Jane, because um, it was filthy and I thought I better make it look really good. And then I, you guys saw it. So, um, Deb says, I forgot that it was Monday. I haven't watched the video yet. Um, yes, definitely go ahead over and watch it. It was so much fun, you guys. And I can guarantee you're all going to want some of the new stencils. Uh, the cloche one is up. Well, they're all awesome. But, um, yes, you guys are going to love them. So, that was number, like, the second thing I wanted to talk about. And then the third thing, too um is my friend connie over at the painted photographer you guys she is the best artist and she just like freestyles everything um she sent me some of her rice papers so i did a reel but if you guys love you know like hand-drawn items and she told me to share it with my mom I wasn't going to, Connie, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I was going to hog it all. I was going to hog all the paper, but then I felt guilty. 
<laughs> I thought, okay, I am going to share the duplicates is what I'm going to do. So in the paper, it comes with four little snowmen. So I cut one in half and I gave my mom half and I gave her this one as well because she sent two of these. So um, the others, I'm going to just show you. So then you get, you can either get the little snowmen on a four up or you can get the big one. And she, oh, you guys, look at this one, the church amazing that one and then she also has a two up of that one so i gave my oh my gosh i almost gave my mom the big church and the big snowman oh my gosh i'm really giving that is going back to my pile all right and then um she has a big church like this absolutely beautiful and then she does a four up and these are all on our website. And um, believe me, uh, I think there's a lot more out there too. Uh, and she does these little birds. You guys know how much I love mushrooms. And then she also had this one, the first one that I showed you. She did a, a small one of that and the mushrooms of her. So I'm super excited to play around with those. I told her that I was going to, you know, do like a um DIYs with them. So I was super excited that she sent that to me. I went to the post office and to deliver all my packages. And I always check my PO box every once in a while. And um, there was a package and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, it's from Connie. And so it was, it was happy mail. Um, so super excited. All right. Uh, Debbie says I was, I was just watching your video. Oh, well, thank you. Jackie says, I love, love, love Connie. I know, she is so awesome. Um, Gloria says, you always knock it out of the park. Thank you. Uh, Sheila says, Connie's amazing. Jane says, she's so talented. Yes, she is. So I just wanted to give her a shout out. I know I did a little reel and showed it off, but definitely go and check her out. She is absolutely so talented. Okay, so let's get on the project. Um, Thank you all both, like I said, for watching my video today. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this over. Okay, let's chat about what you're gonna need for hand stamping. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a nice big block, okay? If you see how big this is, when I first started stamping jewelry, um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I don't even think I have it any longer. Um, it was like a block that was like this big. So if you can see like when you're doing bracelets like this or cuffs, it like expands kind of far. And um, that one, it didn't, it didn't work very well. <laughs> it did not work very well at all. Um, so I would recommend, my husband said, we can go and get, um, he was able to get me one of these. So I um, was able to get this like heavy duty and I like how thick it is. Um, it's very heavy. So I probably could like lift, it could, it could be like lifting weights, but um, it's awesome. The other thing I recommend doing is taking a um, tape measure and measuring out on here so that you know where the center of your um, cuff is, okay? And that way, that is where you always want to start. You want to start in the center, and then you want to work your way to the right or to the left. So that is a couple things that you'll need, the block. Um, obviously, you'll need something to stamp on. So I have these little cuffs. You will need stamps. So I have this set of stamps tonight. This is like one of my very first sets that I bought, and I just bought it from Hobby Lobby as well. I You can also go online, and you can find all kinds of additional um, stamps. So this one... I don't know if I can, if it's glare, or I don't know if it's blurry. It might be blurry. But this one is one of my favorite arrows. And I don't even know if I can tell you who made it. 
but that one is one of my favorite arrows. And then I also like this little heart. Sorry if you, if it's kind of blurry, you guys. Um, but yes, uh, that is, those are a couple, um, that I always like to have. I have a ton extra, like every time I'm like searching stuff and I see a cool one, um, then I, um, I grab, I always grab them. Let me see here. Okay. Uh, Ruth said, love the church papers. What is the website? Uh, her business name is the painted photographer. So I'm assuming the painted photographer.com. <laughs> I hope I'm assuming that's what her website is. I would, I, if you type it in, I bet you that will come up. Um, and Vicki says working on scrap snowmen tonight. Awesome. Um, Penny asked if rice papers are same as decoupage paper. Yes, they are. I am just going to show you this really quick. Well, again, the, there's like a glare, but it's tougher. So it's, so like the decoupage paper that I use from recycled, it's, um, more of like a tissue paper. Uh, the rice paper has like fibers in it and it makes it really like tough. So, um, that is really nice. It's, it's, I think it's, well, I've never worked with it yet, so I'm very excited to try it. Um, but I did watch a video with Jonathan Mark Mendez and he talked about how it is just, it's so much tougher. So, uh, let's see here. They aren't exactly the same thing. Rice paper is often thinner. Oh, Amanda says rice paper is thinner. I thought this feels like really thick compared to, um, I don't know. It's like, cause it's got fibers in it and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can, it's, there's like a glare, but there's like fibers in here. And that's what Jonathan said that it's kind of heavier duty. So, um, so anyways, all right, let's continue on. Joan says, Sonnet. Hi, Sonnet. I was thinking about getting uh, some of those punches. Awesome. Okay, so some of the other things you're going to need. So you'll, the stamp, oh, some um, somebody did ask. Where, Sheila asked where I did get the stamping block. The initial one I got at Hobby Lobby, this one my husband found for me. Um, he works in... Um, a shop. And I think that it was maybe a scrap piece that he ended up buying. So, um, and it, it, he works in a, like, a, a, a like a fab fabrication shop. So, um, okay. Jane said it's not thinner than Royce's paper. Rice paper is way thicker. That's it felt thicker. Cause, um, Royce's paper is made out of like, a, it's almost like a tissue ish type of paper. Um, so, all right. Um, Amanda says the rice paper I buy is always thinner. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I, again, I've never, this is the first time I was ever sent any, but, um, it's always good to, to hear, um, what everybody else is, um, thinks too. All right. So, um, then you'll need the black, the blanks. You'll also need, um, it's like a crimper. And what this does is after you stamp it, you always place it right in the center and then you crimp it. And then that's what gives you your nice um, rounded bracelet. So uh, the first one I bought, I bought, I think this one is from Hobby Lobby. And then this one I bought online. So... But like you can tell like this one, look at him. This is already like kind of, I think I bought this one because this one is kind of being, I used it so much, you guys. <laughs> but okay, so that, and then you're going to need a nice flat ended hammer, something that's heavy with some weight so that when you hit it, hit it, it has a really nice impression. And you're going to learn that. Um, it takes a little bit of skill to get a really nice impression. So you're going to want, um, you're not going to want to like hit it so hard that it actually bends, but you're going to want to hit it hard enough 
that it actually makes a really nice impression. So what I would recommend doing when you start, just figure your very first one is going to be your tester and just play around with it and test how hard to hit. Some blue tape to hold them down. You're going to need, so I use a Sharpie and I use the Sharpie to fill in all of the stamps. You can buy some stuff as well from online. Uh, I just find that I use a Sharpie, I fill it all in, and then I take alcohol and just a piece of paper towel, wet it and wipe off the excess. And that way too, if um, the color comes out, you can just resharpie it and then wipe it off again. All right, let's take a look here. Um, oh, and Amanda says that it probably varies a lot by the supplier. I'm sure it does. Uh, Jane says, gosh, I haven't done this in years. Oh, Jane, you used a hand stamp too? That's awesome. All right, the other thing is I always have my notebook and whenever I find like a really cool saying that I like, I write it down and I have pages and pages and pages of sayings. And you can tell, like, I probably should put it in a different book. That, like, I mean, it's it's got, like, from, I don't know if, I, I think I brought this with me to Cranberry Fest, and it got a little water on it, too. But now let's go ahead. Does anybody have any questions to this point so far? I don't see any questions, but let's see here. No, I wish I could get back on Instagram, guys. I feel terrible. Um, maybe, well, it says I'm still checked. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, don't know. I guess I'm still on, even though I don't, th I feel like they're gone and I can't see any of the comments. So I feel bad. Oh, I did. I used to make a ton of jewelry. Oh, awesome. I love doing it. It's like one of, I've been doing it for years and I make, I make necklaces I take old vintage belts. I cut those apart. I, I put um, hand stamp jewelry on those. So this, I'm just going to show you how to hand stamp this. So what I do is I pick my saying first. So um, let's say, let's just say faith. We're going to stamp faith on here. So what I do then is I figure out which letter is going to be right in the center which would be the I. Let me just try to, and I probably should have my readers on. You guys know how much I despise the thought of that, <laughs> of having a reader or having readers. Okay, so then what I do, I kind of like hold my finger, right? Like I kind of hold it like this. And there is my center. And I'm just gonna go right up to the center here. And hopefully it's not going to be too loud for you guys. But there you have it. So that's one. So when I do these, I kind of mass produce them. And I just kind of go down. And on my website, I do say, you know, like, these all are hand stamped. So not there's not going to be, even though it all says faith, they're all going to look very different depending on where each of the letters um, fall. Okay, so I got all the I's. And now the next letter would be T. So we're going to work our way this way. Uh, let's see here. I'm so sorry. I probably, I, I'm kind of winging it. I'm winging it, you guys, because all day long, I built a wall in my booth. I'm expanding and my booth, well, I, I shouldn't say I'm expanding my booth because my booth is going to stay the same. I'm just adding a new product line. So I'm, as soon as I get it, I will make an announcement, but... I'm redoing my booth so that I can have it in there. But okay, I should talk about placement. Um, again, this is something you're gonna have to like play around with. So I don't know if there's a major glare on here or not, or if last time you guys wanted me to have it a little bit closer. 
but like they're all a little different and it's okay because these are hand stamped and very unique and there's the tea okay all right did i lose all of you nobody's talking And so, okay, so there's the H. So I kind of, what I do is there's the, the I and the T, and then here's the H, and I kind of just line it up. I wish I could show you, kind of like that. My hand's kind of in the way. And I just go. Um, the one other tip, your letters, when you put your, okay, so like they're all the letters, to make sure it's positioned in the right way, you want the letter facing you. You want to be able to see it. So um, keep that in mind. That's what you want to do. You always want to be able to see it. If you don't see the letter on the stamp, then it's upside down or it's sideways. And learn from me. When I first started stamping, oh boy, I had a couple where I was like, mass producing and I didn't even realize that it got put away wrong. All right. Okay. okay. Summer says, hi, Sonnet. I want to do this. Awesome. Yeah, it's so much fun. Oh, Amanda said she used to hand stamp leather, but she hasn't um, tried metal yet. Oh, that's very cool. I have not hand stamped leather. That's awesome. That sounds like fun. So we're going to do the A. We're going to just keep working our way. So the other thing I should say, you can hear like it's like a nice firm tap but it's not like a bam you know like super have like hard tap because if you do if you i don't know if you're gonna be able to see because of the blur but there's actually like a line all the way around the stamp and if you actually hit it too hard you will get that whole round impression as well and that one was good so like i said just keep practicing hey susan how are you we are hand stamping this evening. I'm teaching you guys all how to do that. And like I said, if there's any custom cuff that you guys want, I can make it for you. And have it all out on my website. Okay. So there is faith. And then what I also like to do on each side is I just take like a look, the little period that comes with it. And I like to just add a tiny little dot on both sides of the word. I just think it kind of like finishes it off. All right, so there's that. And then what I also like to do is just add a little heart to one end. So there's the little heart down there. And then what I like to do on the other side is add a little arrow. And kind of like centerize it. And yes, I know centerize is not a word, guys. It's my word. All right. So once you get all everything stamped, then what you're going to do, and then this is what I'm going to show you next. I take my magic marker on a glare here. I just take my magic marker here and I just go over the entire piece, even on the ends. Hey, Lisa. Oh, it's cold there. It's cold here, too, in Wisconsin. She said it's cold in Haley, Idaho. Oh. And then I just take a, a piece of paper towel. I have to work on my lighting, I think. <laughs> and I just do, like, a little dab, and then I wipe. So 
So I wipe it like that with the wet one. And then what I do is I go back and I just wipe off with a dry one. And I just kind of buff it. So there it is. And this one says, choose joy. So after you do that, the other thing I recommend is automatically just put your cap back on your um, alcohol because what's going to happen is you're going to tip it over and you're going to lose the whole thing. Um, then I just go right in the center with my um, crimping tool and I'm just going to hold it like that and I just work my way around. Oh, I, I looked up to make sure you guys could see it, that I was actually in, <laughs> in position here, or in frame, I should say. Um, oh, I probably should tell you that. This is aluminum that we're stamping. It's a nice, soft metal. All right. Okay, and then there it is. What do you guys think? I love them. They're one of my favorites. So how I like to put them, like either um, have just one or a stack of three. And because I like putting three, like I, I'm always like one, three, five. I think like a stack of three is always so nice. Um, you have children, you can have stamp um, children's names on them, but it's super easy and it's so fun. I probably, I should have had out all of my other blanks that I have. There's just tons of them that are all, um, well, those are pewter, but, um, oh, um, or Alias Aliens, Alien said, I remember the aluminum cuffs we bought from MIA Vietnam War. I had mine for decades. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. What if I just did something? All right. Um, Rachel says, that's really nice. So now you guys know how to do it. So, um, but yes, if you guys do want to do anything custom, I can definitely do it for the any time, but for the holidays or what have you. Um, let me go back to me. All right. Um, the cuffs actually, so um, you may not have been on earlier, Amy, but the cuffs I do buy from a wholesaler. And what I would recommend doing is just start doing your own research and try to find one that... Um, fits to whatever you're, you're looking for. So there's so many different ones out there. Um, I just did a ton of research myself. And like I was saying earlier that there's just a, a couple things that I just don't um, give out and um, especially like wholesale information. Um, it just, I did a ton and ton of research on it. So, all right. Um, so what did you guys think? Everybody's really quiet tonight. Did I did I lose you guys because I was hand stamping, making too much noise? Nobody, nobody. Okay. Um, I should also mention now that we did that, <clears throat> and oh my gosh, that's probably why Jane was on tonight. Jane, you still on? <laughs> okay. Um, Jane and I. Um, so um, okay. Oh, now everybody's talking. Uh, Susan says, very nice. Colleen says, very nice. Awesome. I think they would be great gifts. Can you do that on copper? No, I was really, no, no, I was really, but okay, good. Um, I haven't done copper, but I think copper is, well, actually, I should not say that. I did take a penny and I stamped a heart on a penny and I also punched a hole in it. I don't know if that's illegal. I'm maybe pretty saying I did this to a pen, but uh, I put it on a, um, a little uh, thing that said something about my husband that I, it was a little saying to him and I made it and it's a keychain. So I did make that for him 
for our anniversary. Um, and he carried, he still has it. So it was like when I very first started um, st hand stamping, I think it was like on our five year anniversary or something, I gave him that. So I was like, um, so that is, I mean, it's partially partial copper, I think for, right. Or no. Um, but it, I, you can stamp into harder metals as well. It's just those metals you will want to stamp much harder. Um, Deb says, just tell her tonight. Sheila says, love this. I'm going to try this because I need one more thing to be obsessed with, right? Um, you make it look easy, but I'm sure there's a, a learning curve. There is definitely a learning curve, so don't get frustrated. Um, but back to what I was initially saying. So Jane um, and I, or Jane, okay, it's Jane. It's all Jane. She is hosting an event in April. And I was going to have it up and I do not, let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, so yeah, so she is hosting an event in April and she asked me to um, do a project or like a workshop at the event. Um, so I'm super excited and let's see here. Uh, let's see if. Uh oh, let me see here if I can highlight it because I was going to let you guys all know there's a couple more seats available. It's being held over in um, Burlington, Wisconsin. And let me go back to you guys. Let me see if I can put it in. Okay, there it is. Did it go? Okay. So I did put the link in the comments on here and, oh, it went over to Facebook and it also went over to YouTube. So um, I don't think it probably went to Instagram if there's anybody watching from it on Instagram, but uh, it is called um, the Renewal Retreat. And if you are interested, you can go over um, to Jane Belante Art. And are you live? I was watching your video from earlier and it jump to this video. Yes, I am live. Paige, I am live. Um, but yes, it, um, so go over to Jane Belante Arts um, on Instagram and you're interested. And yeah, it's called the Ritual Retreat. So I'm so excited uh, to be participating in that. Uh, it, it's the first time that um, I'm doing that. Um, so, but yes, so yes, I wanted to mention that to you guys and I'm trying to read comments. <laughs> I have missed a ton, um, and try to stay focused. So I'm a terrible multitasker, you guys, but, um, but yes, anyway, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, she still has a couple spots left. And like I said, it's in April and it's, I think it's a three day event, um, it just sounds so amazing. Uh, go out and look at the place that he is going to have it at. The retreat. It is rusty. Uh, so I'm, I feel very blessed to be part of that. All right. Um, yes, there's not a lot of chatter tonight, you guys. Um, but yes, I have only been on for a short period of time and basically I covered everything. Does anybody have any other questions? Uh, oh, yeah, I should talk about that. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Um, Paige said it's about the membership. Yes. So, tomorrow, you guys, I am officially closing my membership um, tomorrow. And um, I was busy all day, but I did not get to, you know. Um, so I will do that after my live, but um, all day long, I was building a wall in my booth at the GOAT. And, um, but yes, so today is, uh, to, actually, I left it open until the 31st. So if you are interested in anything um, regarding my membership, any more information, shoot me over an email. 
But basically, we meet weekly and we meet every Tuesday at six o'clock and we just cover all different topics uh, related to a small business. Um, we have a lot of fun, though. So there are it's not all business all the time. We also do fun events um, and it's really a great group of ladies that are participating in that, the membership. We are all friends. Um, we all know each other. Uh, everybody just has a great time and we learn from each other. So, uh, for instance, uh, Kristen, um, one of the members, she has become so efficient uh, in Canva that she did an entire meeting on the ins and outs of Canva and everything you can do with it. Um, right now, we are covering the power of Pinterest and what Pinterest can help you with with your business. So there's just like a ton of different stuff that we're doing in the membership. Um, but yes, and if you really want to be like a tight knit community, um, then you it's definitely uh, what you want to, to be a part of, I should say, because they are absolutely amazing, um, just great cheerleaders. So. But uh, yes, that is um, ending or closing tomorrow, and it will not open until six more minutes. So, all right. Um, let's see. Here. Amanda said that's a great price for the event with food included. Yes. And you guys, did you check out how beautiful it is? <laughs> uh, oh, Jane, I know her. Burlington is closer to me in Kenosha. Okay. Um, okay. Paige, email me. That would be awesome. You're breaking up. Oh, God. I'm breaking up. Great. <laughs> well, you make stuff with the Christmas tree mold, please. I need inspiration. Um, I might. We'll see. So, Friday's video, I am going to probably do um, my booth redo. And, like, hopefully, uh, I have my product in there by Friday. Showcase that all to you guys, and so you guys can see what I have been up to. Um, let's see here. Oh, Paige says your headband cracked me up earlier. I know <laughs> it cracked me up too. Um, uh, Lexi actually said, "Oh my gosh, you told everybody to go into the fridge and keep your pickles to use that jar." I did. I did. I said, "You guys." Not find a vintage jar, just go in your refrigerator, eat the rest of the pickles because there's always just a couple, and then use that glass jar as a container to use um, the labels uh, for a cycle. <laughs> so, um, Jeff says, Did you see the picture that I sent of my first bleach flannel with the embroidered tiger on it? I did not. Did you send it today? I did not see it. Um, I have been really busy though. Um, let's see how Vintage Wine says, I saw that I know you're not providing links, but for the other supply things. Oh, I can definitely do that. Um, I can definitely post those. I'll make a Facebook post with all the different links. So um, that way you guys can very easily click on it. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and the, I'll actually put a little stamping block, but I don't really, I recommend a bigger one if you can find one. Um, Paige says, Deb, your plan was amazing. Oh, okay. So Deb, did you, did you post it? You must have posted it on the group page. So I'll have to go look. Was it over the weekend? Huh. Oh, I was up north too. <laughs> I was up north too. Guys, I have to tell you, I have been busy the last few days, or this whole weekend. I went up north. We went to Riser Cabin, which was very special. Um, it's uh, it definitely, it's, it's like a whole process to went to Riser Cabin. We shut everything down, cleaned it up one last time, and up there I don't get the best signal. So we left early Sunday. And I went to Menards when I got home, grabbed as much lumber as I could, and then I headed over to the um, field coat and I built the wood, the frame of the wall. 
And then this morning I woke up went back to Menards and I got the rest of the stuff that I needed. And then I headed back over there today and I have been building that wall all day. And my, my legs hurt. Oh, and I was back at the gym this morning. So it was, it was a lot. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, Page said, I saw the flannel on Facebook. I commented there. I was, um, I was in the person watching them in the Magic Kingdom last week. <laughs> hey, Donna. Uh, page. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So you, oh, I'm going to have to check it out. I will do that. It'll be on my to do list. So I have, um, and I'll make a post, like I said, with all the links. So for you guys, you guys can get out there and put in this campaign. Play around with it, it's so fun. So, all right. Well, I covered everything that I wanted to cover tonight. <laughs> so, I thought the hand stamping part was going to take a little bit longer, but it didn't. Um, and I feel like I'm keeping you guys on. Um, if you guys want to chat about anything else, I would love to chat. If anyone has any questions about anything, with, uh, and I oh, and I want to say too that. So in my last video, I talked about the new release, but I didn't say stencil. So I am so for you guys. Uh, I the I when you when IOD does a new release, I just want to throw this out there. It's like top secret. Like everything's top secret. So I never know what I can say about anything. So I don't say anything. So that's kind of how I was with this release. I was like, I don't know what I can say. Well, I'm just gonna say it's a new release. And then a lot of people thought that because they just started really offering stencils, she has 15 or 16 at this point. Um, and because of that, so she was the new release, I think she thought, or they thought, people thought it was paper. And so I felt terrible. Um, but yeah. Um, so thanks. Can't wait to do another one. Awesome. I'm so bad at stencils. I need to practice them. Okay, you guys. Talking about stencils, I just want to tell you because I, it's stencils are awesome. It, it, it need a good stencil, but you also need a good stencil brush. I like the stencil brush so much, you guys, that I am gonna be offering that. Hopefully, I haven't heard back, but I'm assuming I haven't heard back. Maybe because she's over um, working <laughs> in a different country. So um, it is the JRV pencil brush, and I honest to God, I was at Debbie's um, for the paint inlay um, for the meal party. She had these all sitting on the table, and we were playing around. Oh, um, so we had stencils, and you could make all these projects. So there was a stencil there, and I'm like, oh gosh, I always get through. And even no matter how much I uh, tap off or like unload my brush, uh, it's still, I still feel like I get a lot of bleed through. So long story short, use this. And this, honest to God, is the, one of the best stencil brushes ever. I just have to tell you guys. So I immediately got home and, well, I shouldn't say immediately because I very busy after I got home from California with a cranberry buzz. But once I slowed down again, um, I went and I applied for it. And by the time I did, she had just flown. Um, they weren't quite a brand, but they went all over the place. So they see me right on the So hopefully I'll hear back once she gets back. Um, and I will be able to get these um, available for you guys because they are amazing. Um, let's see here. This is a fast process. So you can break out a lot of braces, bracelets quickly. Yeah. Um, I have been cranking these out very quickly. I can crank, crank them out. Um, same. It's the bleed through. What is the brush again? Um, it is called um, the JRV brush and Jamie Ray Vintage. And I should be having them. Fingers crossed, I'm sure I will be able to sell them on my website. So um, there's different sizes. This one that is, I bought this at Debbie's, and this one is a half-inch brush. 
um, she actually, Debbie, liked the size up from this, which she was so proud of. So, um, but I'm going to have these all available in my booths and online. So let's see here. And, yeah, Jamie Ray Vintage, JRV. Um, I meant bracelets. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, Donna, I'm assuming that's you. This is that you love the stencil brush. <laughs> okay, I'll keep watching your site for them. Maybe I'll actually not be so bad at stenciling, LOL. No, honest to God, this is really good. Um, and in my video that I created today, I actually used this with Royce's stencils. And I talk about offloading. And then, I mean, I think the reason why, even though I offload, I also, um, I, I, I'm in a hurry. Like I, you know, because dabbing, 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 dabbing can be, especially when the stencil is big. Um, so sometimes I might not offload as much as I can or as much as I should. And so this was just like, I think that's a perfect brush. And then using the DIY paint too, I think helped because sometimes if your paint is too thin, that's too when it, oozes or like underneath the stencil. So the, the um, DIY paint being clay-based really is a nice, um, really nice. Um, yeah, you're going to be really great after um, you use this. You'll be the best stencil in Amanda. <laughs> uh, okay, so Paige says she got the three and she's going to try again with it, but my stencil game has been awful. Oh boy. <laughs> Does the thickness of the stencil make a difference with the bleed through? I think it does. Um, like Royce's stencils are really nice. I mean, they're not, they're just a nice thickness. Um, so they're they're really, I love them. I do love her stencils that she does. I guess is just sent you a message, instant messaging with a photo. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see it once I'm done with the live. So but yes, I would definitely recommend that. And like I said, I will be getting on my website here. I am telling you guys some of, one of the things, but no, this is not the big reveal. Um, if you guys did not go out, check out my photos of today's project over at the GOAT. I um, put photos out on Facebook and Instagram. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to get her own stencil or this thing. Yes, the urn is um, very cool. I also like um, the bushel basket. That's fun. Um, it's awesome, too. Um, if you've ever seen any of her um, uh, tutorials, Royce's tutorials, or Lexi, they use a lot of the papers and they'll like trace um, the paper, and that will be the base, and then they'll stencil on the decoupage paper. So they decoupage it down and then. Um, they can do like rate, do race pencils with it. There's just a lot of possibilities. All right, Joan says these bracelets would be a nice Christmas gift or teacher for teachers, especially you have lots of kids with lots of teachers. Yes, they would be definitely. Um, yep, I always, um, I always talk about teachers. Every year I, st I used to stamp them for uh, Caitlin's uh, teacher and Cole's teacher, like two kids. So um, every year, thank goodness they got different teachers. So uh, he says the closest me to, yes, last year during the 25 days of thriftness, oh, I used the snow globe, you guys. It was so cool. I, my friend Kristen uh, from our, the membership group, she taught a class in the group how to paint or do multimedia or mixed media, multimedia, mixed media and layering. And we hand drew um, a snowman and she just showed us all these different really fun techniques. And then I, so she taught us how to draw the snowman and do the mixed media. Then I took it a step further and I took the snow globe and I drew the snowman in the snow globe and I did some mixed media and it turned out so awesome. And I can't wait to put it back into my day for this year. So uh, those are the best projects where she stencils on decoupage paper and then cuts that out and put on another paper. Yes, I agree. 
completely. I'm about to attempt imprinting on clay with proof of Harvey stamp. Wish me luck. Great, good job, and good luck. All right, guys. So I covered a lot of stuff tonight. Um, like I said, I will go ahead and I will put the links out on my, I'll make a post on both Facebook and Instagram with the links. I can put the links on Instagram, but I'll do it on Facebook. So thank you all for joining me this evening. And if you guys are interested in Jane's um, retreat in April, I will be there and she will as well. Um, we also have, she, I asked her to be part of my event in October. So she said yes. So she will be um, at my event in October at Antiquities as well. So I'm super excited. Um, yes. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. And we will see you on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Um, so we'll see you then for the next live. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing yet. I will probably go right back to the holidays and something Christmas. So again, thanks for joining me tonight and we'll see you Wednesday. Bye.